This is Daily Train MFWWT, Fort Worth, Texas to Wichita, Kansas mixed freight. He leaves Fort Worth in the early morning and usually makes it this far north by about 5 o'clock. In winter, it gets dark at about that time, so a train at sunset is usually a pretty good bet. Just three days before Christmas, it was cold, cloudy, and the railroad was all quiet. Nothing on the radio except for this high rail truck. Even he wasn't sticking around for us. He jumped off the tracks, and that was that. With nothing better to do, I started driving until radio chatter picked up and told of a northbound coming into Chickasha off the Duncan sub. This is another edition of the MFWWT. On days where there's a lot of traffic, sometimes Davidson Yard in Fort Worth will originate two sections of the northbound train. This is the first section. The other didn't get this far north until after dark. Hey. Hey. After a recrew, he gets underway again, throttling up hard to climb out of the Washita River Valley. It was a slow day today. The radio went dark, and so we started drifting back north until something showed up on the scanner in El Reno. 
this rock train came off the Oklahoma City sub and turned south on the return trip to Richard's Spur Quarry near Lawton. I didn't catch the reason for this stop on the scanner, but it wasn't a crew change. The same guys that climbed aboard got back off a few minutes later, and then the train proceeded south. The scanner was alive with chatter about a grain train sitting in the siding at Minko after the rock train passed, so I set up a few miles to the north in Union City to wait for him. Turned out that they were just bringing in a fuel truck to refill the engines, so no train for me. I upgraded my tripod in December of 2016, trading in the cheap pan and tilt one I used for years for a much bigger and more stable piece with a fluid head for smooth video pans. This was my first time testing it out. Do the pans look better to you? Unit trains like this one are rare on the Enid sub. Usually, a unit train that isn't grain is a reroute for some reason or another. I got him one more time as he came down Minko Hill towards Pocasset and Chickasha.
The next trip to the OKT didn't happen until February. I only had an afternoon to spend, so I headed for Chickasha and hoped for the best. When I got there, a rock train was sitting in the yard, ready to head down the branch to Richard's Spur for loading. He only has permission to advance to the yard throat because the main belongs to this train, a southbound loaded grain shuttle. Grain train out of the way, the rock train advances across the Stillwater Central Diamond and up the south leg of the Y, onto the branch. Quick stop to line the switch, and they're back underway.
The speed limit is slow in town on the Lawton sub, so it was easy to get out ahead for another catch at the old US-81 crossing. Another train came in from the north while the rock train was heading out, so we went for that one instead. Turns out it was another grain shuttle. They stopped at the south end of Chickasha Yard while waiting for the dispatcher to finish their track warrant. Second in tow on this train is one of Union Pacific's AC 6000s. These were supposed to be the most powerful single engine diesels ever built, but it proved nearly impossible to cram that much horsepower into such a small space. The prototypes suffered numerous mechanical issues, and later models like this one were built with standard 4400 horsepower engines, intended to be upgraded to 6000 once GE worked out the bugs in the motor design. That never happened, and the locomotive is now classified as an AC 4460. With the track warrant issued, he eases back into his journey south.
If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, you can find some extra content and update posts on our Facebook page, which is linked in the description. These videos take a lot of time and effort to create, and I love getting feedback from y'all, so remember to drop a like and a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching, friends.